Bison. Today we're going to make two activities using paper towel tubes. You're going to need a paper towel tube and scissors for this first math activity. This one's going to require math, our number knowledge, and some hand and eye coordination where your eyes tell your brain to drive those hands in a certain position and we're gonna roll a pom-pom ball around our series of tunnels that we're going to make out of a paper towel tube. So to make these tunnels, we're gonna cut this paper towel tube apart into 10 pieces. So I'm just gonna open and close around the paper towel tube until I get a little section, a smaller cylinder. And I'm gonna try to cut 10 of these out of this tube. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I didn't quite make it to 10. And you know what? That is okay. Now we are going to write the numbers one through nine on these paper towel tubes. Then we're going to use them to make a maze of tunnels on a cooking sheet. So I have all my little sections here. Let me line them up so we can write numbers on them. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to write my numbers. My black marker is right here. Let's start on one side and write a number on each one. A one, a big line down. Got it. A two. I like to say it's a candy cane hook with a line across the bottom. Two. Three. Around the tree. Around the tree. That's the way we make a three. Four. Down and over. Frog jump, then down some more. That's the way we make a four. Five, down and around, but don't stop at that. Number five needs a hat. Six, start at the top. Big curve, and it keeps curving all the way around with the circle at the bottom. Six, seven, slide across, then down from heaven. That's the way you make a seven. Oh, the eight. I love the eight because you can make a letter to make this number a snaky. A uh, squiggly, a uh, S. So start at the top. A magic C. Uh, turn it around. S. Make an S, then close the gate. That's the way you make an eight. And last is nine. A circle. And a line. That makes a nine. Did you get your nine drawn? Good work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now comes the fun part. We're going to use a cooking sheet because it has a little edge and a pom pom ball. The pom pom ball will roll all around the cooking sheet, but because of the little edge, sometimes called a lip, not like the lip on your face, but the lip of the tray will hold the pom-pom ball in place. Now we're going to get out some tape and start to put our tunnels around the board. I'm going to mix up 
the order. When we wrote the numbers, we put an order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But on the tray, we're going to mix it up. Get a piece of tape long enough to go through the tunnel. I'm holding tape on both sides and push down onto the tray. One, two. I'm going to keep mixing up the numbers all around the tray. When I'm ready to play, I'm going to drive that pom-pom through the tunnels in the right order. They're mixed up while I'm building, but when I'm ready to play, I'm going to drive that pom-pom through the tunnels in the right order. I'm going to put five way up here. That way, when I go from four to five, the pom-pom ball will have to travel a long distance. If you don't have a pom-pom ball, a bouncy ball would work. A marble would work. Here's my nine. I'm going to keep pulling down and towards you like a J to rip the tape off and scatter these all around my tray. This would be a lot of fun. My eyes will tell my brain where to move my hands and get them in the right order. So I have all the numbers all jumbled up and I'm ready to put the pom-pom ball on the tray. First, I'm gonna go to the one. Oh, can I get it through the one? Yes, now to the two, way down there. I've gotta drive this pom-pom ball. There, it went through the two. What comes after two? Three. Can we get that pom-pom ball up to the three? I'm tipping, I'm tipping. Yes! If you have a friend, one friend could hold two corners and the other friend, you, could hold the other two and work together. Can you drive the pom-pom ball all the way through this maze? If you do it once, see if you can do it faster. What if you use a stopwatch and time yourself? Maybe you want to mix the numbers up when you're done and try again. Have fun with this rolling marble maze. Our next project is really fun because we're going to make a character, a person. It could be an animal. It's up to you. We're going to make a little figure. And this figure is going to have different expressions. Now, expressions are when our face shows how we are feeling. Other people can look at a face and tell. Is this person happy? Is this person sad? So let's practice our expressions because we're going to need them for this really neat doll we're going to make. Show me excited. <gasps> Yes! Show me sad! Show me angry! Show me confused! Show me happy! Show me surprised! I think you're ready! Alright, so we are going to use another paper towel tube and cut! A little piece off. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to make a hole for the face. Now inside of this hole we will put a piece of paper that can be twisted around to show different expressions in our doll. So to do it we're going to kind of squish the paper towel tube down. We'll round it back out into a cylinder when we're done. We're gonna squish it down and on it you see what letter? Cat, car, cookies. It's a C. We're gonna take our scissor and go from the edge of the C up and around. Open, close, open, close. This hand still does the driving. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Oh, it's kind of tricky. I'm a little stuck. I might switch to the other side to finish the cut. Wow, that is easier. And now, 
I have an opening, a circular opening for the face of my doll. So on the tube, I'm going to draw the rest of the body. Maybe my doll will be in a blue t-shirt. And this blue t-shirt is striped. You get to pick the clothes. Draw the clothes all around your doll. Maybe my doll likes to wear hats. No matter what his face looks like, he likes hats. I'm going to give him a cowboy hat. Oh, perfect. So I have the body of my character. The hat, his shirt, maybe he needs some arms coming out. Draw around it the body. Now we're ready to do the faces and we want the faces to look different. So how are we going to do that? We're going to get a piece of paper. Now this tube is a cylinder, a circle grown up with space inside. And we're going to take this and make the corners touch of a little piece of paper. So it is also now a circle. We're going to see, will this circle fit inside? We want it to be about the same size as the paper towel tube. It does, it fits. I'm just going to reach in there and add a little bit of tape. If your circle is too big or too small, just pull it out, trim a little off the edge, and try to wrap it again. So I've got my circle shape. I'm going to make sure I get the tape all the way across it. And this will be my faces, my expression. So to do this, I'm going to slide it in. And I'm going to draw the face on this circle. My first one, I think, will be a happy face. I'm going to do an eye, maybe some eyelashes, a nose. My nose has two nostrils and kind of a curved part. So I might do two nostrils and a bit of a curved part. And then his happy mouth. When he's happy, his mouth looks kind of like a U. Yes! Now he looks really happy. I'm going to reach in into the tube and twist the face. Pull it up, twist a little. Slide it back in. Now I'm ready to put in another face. Let's make an angry face. I'm going to make angry eyebrows. Oh, angry eyebrows are when they kind of furrow together. You'll notice on yourself when you make an angry face, they kind of come together in the middle and slide up on the sides, just like the letter V, V, V. Now I'm going to make kind of an angry mouth. Oh, he's a grumpy guy. Now let's make another face. Slide it over a little bit and back in. Empty. Now you can make another face. I'm going to make a kissy face. I'm going to make some kissy lips like an M. And a V at the bottom. Maybe even give him some cheeks this time. <laughs> and then we'll pull it up and slide it around. Now he's happy again. Can you see? There we go. Now he's... Now he's... Let me slide it back in. Oh, it's stuck. I can do this. I can fix this. I'm not worried it's stuck. It worked once. It can work again. Let me help it. Come on. 
I see where it's getting caught. Ta -ha! Now he's kissy again. And then let's spin him around. Now he's angry. Have fun telling stories and making your doll show all his different expressions, all of his different or her different faces. Bye, Bison.